Hello everyone, this is Bob McLean with the National Weather Service with a weather briefing for a high wind event this coming weekend. We'll take a look at the potential impacts. First of all, expect difficult travel and high winds and blowing dust with possible road closures for Saturday afternoon and evening. On Sunday, the winds will continue, but expect much less dust and probably no road closures. There will be increased respiratory complaints during the prime dust period Saturday afternoon and evening. Then the possibility of damage and power outages both Saturday afternoon and then continuing right through Sunday. Critical fire weather conditions are expected for Saturday afternoon, a much lesser chance on Sunday, and then expect impacts on the outdoor events in the area Saturday and Sunday. Let's look at the ingredients for a windstorm. You want strong pressure gradients aloft, which are typical of the jet stream overhead, and we'll have that both days. Then you want a lee surface low, and you'll have that both days. Deep mixing is another ingredient. We'll have that on Saturday, but not so much on Sunday. Then you want upward motion ahead of the trough, and large scale downward motion behind the trough, and that will occur both days. And then you're looking at the timing of all these ingredients. They will coincide on Saturday, but not on Sunday. Here's Saturday's weather map, and our area is indicated in the yellow rectangle. There will be strong southwest winds, both at surface and aloft, and there will be a cold front that will be moving across Arizona during the late afternoon. Here are the wind gusts expected at 5 p.m. on Saturday. The dark red areas indicate wind speeds of 50 knots, that is 58 miles per hour or greater. You see that covers a large portion of our area and is the reason that we expect so much blowing dust. Here's the weather map for Sunday afternoon. You'll see the Pacific cold front is well east of the area. And you'll see that we are under a northwest flow aloft, so there will be much less mixing, and the trajectory of the air will not be from the dust sources, so we expect a less windy and much less dusty day on Sunday. And you can see that in the 5 p.m. wind gusts. At this point, the only gusts above 45 miles per hour are pretty much limited to the far east, the southern Sacramento Mountains extending down into northern Hudspeth County, with most of the rest of the area having wind gusts below 40 miles per hour. Here's what we call a time section of this upcoming event, where time runs from the right-hand side of the graph to the left. Just left of the middle, you'll see a dashed white line, and that outlines the trough that will be passing through here on Saturday and Sunday. Now, down at the bottom, you'll see a series of barbs kind of standing by themselves, and you'll see a yellow one right around 5 p.m. on Saturday. That indicates wind speeds of 30 to 40 knots, or 35 to 47 miles per hour. Here are the uncertainties with this event. First of all, the exact timing and strength of the peak wind on Saturday, the amount of dust on Saturday, and then the wind strength on Sunday. Here are the watches and warnings in effect. First of all, there is a fire weather watch for Saturday. Then possible future watches and warnings include a high wind watch for Saturday, which may be issued this afternoon. Then wind advisories are almost certain for Saturday and very likely on Sunday. A high wind warning is almost certain for some areas on Saturday. And then the possibility of a blowing dust advisory and or warning sometime Saturday afternoon or evening, depending on how thick the dust gets. To summarize, here are the expected impacts. Expect difficult travel and high winds and blowing dust, possible road closures, mainly Saturday afternoon and evening, but still windy with less dust on Sunday. Expect increased respiratory problems on Saturday afternoon and Sunday with the blowing dust in the area. Expect possible damage and power outages Saturday afternoon, continuing into Sunday. 
and they expect critical fire weather conditions Saturday afternoon. Emergency managers are strongly encouraged to continue monitoring the latest statements and forecasts with this event. Well, that about wraps up this web briefing. You can get the latest information on this upcoming event through these various sources. And we thank you for your time. Have a great afternoon.